Traders, I have lost enough uh, money for today, so I'm done trading. You can see my account here on the um, over the chart here. So here's my results. I've had a small winner in DLTR and a small winner in BA, but uh, three very unpleasant losers in DPZ, RH, and in ZM. So I'm going to finish my day down $18,000. That's my first losing day in several weeks. I don't know really how many. I believe three weeks or so, maybe more than that. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, green comes with red every once in a while. Definitely today because I was wrong. I was wrong about market direction. Let's take a quick look at the market and the way the market behaved. You know, in the past few days, we were, we've been going uh, up quite a bit. And um, I started by saying yesterday that as long as the market is going to continue coming up, I'm not going to argue with the market. The market goes up. I'm with the market going up with the market. I'm not trying to argue with the trend. But... In my opinion, we haven't seen the lows yet, and it's likely that we will move lower because crashes usually behave like that. We see a first big low, and then we go to a second low. So, would that be the case this time? I don't know, but whenever I have the chance to see the market coming down, just like it did today early, and uh, believe that it may go down, then that's the time where I'm all in shorting. And that's what uh, happened today, and sadly that did not work out. Let's take a quick look here at the S&P 500. So what happened here is that the initial move of the market, if you're watching here, the S&P 5-minute candles, uh, we started with a small gap down, which is already a good start if I believe the market's going to come down. And then we moved lower, failed. Okay, I'm still waiting because it's the first 10 minutes. I never know what's coming next. And then we moved over the highs after 15 minutes. At that point... I should believe that the market is likely to move higher and close the gap. But no, it failed and it moved under the lows and quite nicely, I should say. That was the time where I was starting to look for shorts and that's what tricked me because I was hoping that the market is going to continue coming down. At that point where we moved under the lows, that was the point where I started taking a few shorts. Initially, they worked out fine. I was very nicely in green, but I was expecting a bigger move than that. So I held to my shorts. Small pullback. I was hoping I'm not going to see the market pulling back too much. It's okay when you have a pullback. I would rather be after a partial once this pullback happens, but that did not happen, sadly. And then we continued moving higher. So the 15-minute the high here is what tricked here tricked me and then came the new low which tricked me again and that sometimes just happens you know I misread the market direction I had all the clues to believe that I was doing the right thing of course but I misread market direction market changed direction moved higher this could have been you know if you're looking at uh at the, at the previous trend, if you were looking at what happened yesterday and last week, then of course it could have been anticipated. But I was hoping that we're going to see the market moving lower today. I missed that and um, I was doing, uh, I was taking some trades. I haven't done anything wrong really. I just took some trades that just didn't work out because of market direction. That's it. We always have, we always have to go with market direction. The first trade I took today was long. And that happened during the first uh, five or six minutes when the market direction was not clear. I posted uh, Boeing long over 154 and that worked out fine. 154 was right over here. Boeing started with the gap up. It was relatively strong, came down, uh, almost closed the gap, sorry, closed the gap, uh, moved higher. We took it for long. That was the right thing to do. Market direction was not clear by then. We had a nice long trade in Boeing, so I started my day with a winner. But then came several losers, as I mentioned earlier, while I was uh, shorting the market like uh, ZM, uh, which in my opinion, if you look at the daily of ZM, is too extended to the upside and should come down. I still believe so. And uh, people are buying ZM like crazy. There's no real reason, uh, fundamental reason for ZM to move up as, as much as it did. So shorted ZM, posted it under 144.80, uh, which was right over here. That was a nice technical point. Initially, it came down under the lows, looked well. But at that time, the market started moving higher. And that's what took, uh, took ZM off my table. And... Uh, uh, ended up with a loss. Uh, so I had ZM, I had um, Domino's Pizza, DPZ, 
uh, which was also a loser, posted this one under 327.50. Um, so again, DPZ is relatively weak. It's down 6%. You always want to short stocks that are compared to the market are, are weaker than the market. So the market is at zero and right now in green territory, but uh, DPZ is down 6%. So if you're looking for a candidate to short, DPZ would be the one. Posted this one under 327.50. 50 which was way over here and that looked good so dpz did come down i had several points winner like five points or so but i was looking for a much bigger winner in dpz which i thought i should get so i had a very nice trade in dpz until the market pulled back up again i was hoping that the market just pulled up would pull up a bit and then continue its trend it tricked me it moved over the highs and again, that happens sometimes. So DPZ took me out somewhere over here. So another unpleasant uh, loser. Uh, same happened to RH. And again, if you look at uh, RH, the stock is down 10% today. So we shorted it somewhere around here. It looked well. Initially, it moved down, but then took me out. Maybe it's going to come down later. But again, when the market moved up, it just pushes everything with it. Even a stock which is relatively weak will go up with the market. You never know when the market's going to stop. You never know where the stock you took for a short is going to stop. You should be moving out. You should give it, you give it some space, but you should be moving out. Uh, the only winner I had was a relatively a weaker stock than other that was DLTR DLTR is the one I missed today here I should have shorted here but uh, I posted here in the trading room um, 75.50 I believe that was right in here I thought it's going to go to a new low it did not then it moved up then finally it did come to a new low and anyway uh, DLTR ended up to be a very small green trade because it's relative again relative to the market it's very it's, it's very weak and it's pulling down uh, even though the market's moving higher. So it is trending lower. I was just lucky with this one. This stock is down almost 6% right now. And again, the market is in green. And although the market is in green, DLTR is under pressure. So it came down. I was lucky enough to get a winner in DLTR. Uh, but again, a small winner in DLTR and bigger losers in the rest. So finishing my uh, day. Uh, at an unpleasant $18,000 loss. Uh, but that has to happen after several weeks of being green. So really sorry I couldn't help you guys today. But it's one of these days when I lose money. So I uh, wish you all the best for the rest of your day. Hopefully you're going to um, uh, do better than I did today. The market is trending higher. Uh, if you look at the daily, we are trending our higher since last week so probably should stick to your longs unless you find some amazing opportunity to short uh, anyway uh, have fun i'm done for the day thank you very much for being here with me today and i'll see you all tomorrow bye traders thank you for watching our video before you go we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004 and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.